Waspo versus Katana. Asa finally knows the truth about Denji. And Haruka is a weird fanboy. All this and more in Chainsaw Man Chapter 161 titled Chainsaw Man Puzzle. Which is, well, very befitting of a title for this week's chapter. Because he's being put back together piece by piece in the most horrific ways. Where last time we saw him, only his leg was being dismembered and being regenerated about, what, 26, 27 times? But despite our unlikely heroes and their attempt to rescue Denji well they already found him in boxes and it's pretty bad Denji has suffered in the previous arc which I would just call the torture Denji arc to seeing him where he is now Fujimoto definitely can't give this man a break because his entire body and I mean his entire body is put into pieces where Seki comments on discovering Chainsaw Man's private parts to even giving Nobana a few hilarious bits where he's the one that discovers Chainsaw Man's heart and he's the one that apologizes because the surgeons after a rough day at work are visibly upset that their boxes which they organize nicely gets kicked away by Katana Man. But I'm jumping a bit ahead of myself. I think the thing that probably is very surprising for many of us if I can speak on behalf of this entire Chainsaw Man community is that I thought this quest for the prison break arc was going to deal with getting into the deeper depths of each level. You know I made this analogy several weeks ago as this is the One Piece Impel Down arc and for those of you who haven't watched One Piece, Luffy tries to rescue his brother and each level that he goes further and further upon he encounters more dangerous devil fruit users and things get much tougher for the group that Luffy and the other comrades are in and it's also an unlikely duo of people in this attempt to help Luffy. So when we bring it back to Chainsaw Man, here we are with Bami, Yoru, Katana Man and now the Devil Hunters Club to all work together to help Denji eventually escape out of this prison facility. It seems like Fujimoto just hit the fast pass on all this and we aren't meeting more unlikely people to help rescue Denji. And our group has finally made it to the surgeon room. And there's a part of me that's a little disappointed in that. But at the same time, considering we've been dealing with bi-weekly devils and tri-weekly devils to now see Fujimoto in 2024 give us back to back to back guys we are what i think six or seven consecutive chapters that fujimoto is giving us if you want to get us to the end point into rescuing denji that's fine with me because 2023 was a bit of a rough year for us chainsaw man fans and who knows maybe fujimoto is realizing there's still so much to cover in chainsaw man part two that he doesn't have time to make this prison break arc a long arc at the end of the day and we just got to get to the good points right away such as Quan Chi being the person that takagi the guy with the eye patch now we finally know his name was threatening the group from last week into saying well i know one devil who can actually take on all of you at once and is this to be expected are we really surprised here i think a lot of us are in agreement that it was most likely Quan Chi. although i went on a rant about reze i promise i'm done talking about reze for this week but i'm really excited to now see hybrids versus hybrids or should i say weapons because i want to see what a battle between Quan Chi versus katana man is going to look like we know katana man is pretty formidable in, in terms of strength and abilities but his lack of intelligence is all agreed upon that well he isn't the sharpest tool in the shed versus someone like Quan Chi and you got to give it up for her not only is she deadly not only is she intelligent she does not play around now what I do like that we've gotten so far in this particular arc is the nuances and the morally gray areas between many of these characters we know Katana Man personally doesn't care for Denji that much but in this attempt to help rescue Denji to get this ultimate glorification battle like a Goku versus Vegeta part two we see Quan Chi who we know is very loyal to public safety she was labeled the first devil hunter she has close ties with Kishibe which hashtag words Kishibe but we also know that she had a good relationship with Denji in the international assassins arc there was some type of mutual respect for him and that she's trying to give him some unconventional wisdom we even see in the previous arc that Quan Chi alongside Fumiko and Naita she was protecting all of them. So I think Quan Chi is going to do her job well enough against Katana Man and will most likely win. But the X factors 
in all this is definitely our two horsemen of the apocalypse. We know Fami is dangerous. We've seen Fami. I don't want to call her nerf, but she has been a bit of the punching bag in this arc so far. And you can't help but wonder, when is she going to shine? Or is the whole climax of this arc going to lead into now Denji being dismembered for a reason? And now that Asa knows the truth about Denji, which we'll talk about in a minute, this is the moment where Yoru will finally be able to get the weapon that she has always claimed and that the X Factor in this battle against Quan Chi is going to be very one-sided and unfortunate for our favorite crossbow hybrid because she cannot compete with Yoru. But that will be determined next week. For now, let's actually go ahead and bring it back to Asa, who finally knows the truth about Denji this entire time. She's been having mixed feelings about Denji. In this moment, many of us were always kind of predicting what would happen and what's the context of when Asa finally learns the truth that Denji was in fact Chainsaw Man, that Chainsaw Man helped save her and give her this unconventional wisdom during the Falling Devil arc and that there is so much more to life and this is why you gotta continue pressing forward, right? And even if it wasn't as eloquently said, you know Asa really appreciated the words from Chainsaw Man and even had this crush. So to now find out that Denji was Chainsaw Man all along in this most horrific way, they were there to rescue Denji. But now she's figuring out that, oh my God, he was dismembered. Oh my God, my love interest Chainsaw Man was Denji all along, which coincides with Yoru and how their devil ability works ultimately at the end of the day. That the stronger emotional ties, the stronger the weapon and considering Denji is well unconscious until they rev up his heart is this the moment where Asa is going to have so much fuel and the emotional ties that Yoru is going to feel from this going to result in the promotional image that we saw a long long time ago but no matter how you spin it I'm really excited now and I think all of us are in knowing what comes next after they escape this prison arc and we have to really see as some people have been hypothesizing myself included how is all this this going to wrap up because you can't help but wonder no matter what happens to Denji here the biggest thing all of them were after is Chainsaw Man's heart but what we see here is that Yoru wants a fair fight Katana Man wants a fair fight Bami wants Chainsaw Man's heart to control him to face off against you know Lady Death presumably the major antagonist of this story but there was not a single panel in this chapter where someone said oh my god that's the heart I need we need Pochita's heart none of that happened so with Quan Chi and Takagi being in the mix, we're going to see a very crazy battle, I'm sure. But what immediately comes afterwards is left up in the air. So guys, let me know what you think about this chapter. And we're going to discuss more of this in the live discussion, which you can go ahead and click right here.